Welcome back, one and all, to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, there was a lot of talking and a lot of... Just a lot of talking in the last episode. Not much was accomplished. This time, we're going to... Maintaining your training. Yes. Uh, here's fine. at this point. Doesn't seem like it. I'm just gonna go on a limb here and say no. You're the one that needs all the training. You're fine. Mercedes, you can... I think you can use a better bow than that now. You're still stuck with the iron bow. Here, you're taking his. Ash, you for some reason want to use axes, so... You can... We have a steel axe, you're getting a steel axe. Annette, you just keep doing what you're doing with the magic stuff. You use swords. Maybe. Route the enemy, yeah, yeah. Here goes. Uh as far as I can tell, I don't know. Yes, you can use a sword, or you can use magic. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, okay. I'll give it my all. Stay focused. I'm on it. Oh my god. You just keep your I'll distance from the set is. Ready. I really need to put Ingrid in the What should front. I do?
give her all the help she can get. Let's not waste the sword of the creator on just some measly little brigand. That is that. We must all do our part. I really like the officer's uniform on Byleth. Who's next? Okay. You need to get your abilities up as well, Mercedes. But you are currently a higher level than Ingrid. I just keep throwing you right into the field, don't I? And I really need you to, needed you to hit that. That's all I'm gonna say. Yes, you saved me. So obvious. Easy. Okay, let's go ahead and try this thing out. Yeah. Damn! That's cool. I got you. The fight continues. Just like that. I feel that gonna be that will be candy against certain bosses. Next time bring your Or just troublesome enemies. There you go, level. And a decent I one at that. Stronger still. Stay vigilant. Ooh. You should keep your distance and let Mercedes heal you up. Yeah. Huh. Thanks. I'll go. You're weak. Just 
Show me what you made of. I did not expect a net to be versed in a blade. What's done is done. That's interesting. Aww. A little spell sword. Okay, you need the heals. Close. I can see how well you do with an axe. Is this a joke? Moving from the east. I'm not gonna lose. Yeah. What's done is done. Oh, what a coincidence. That's just who's going to kill you. I'll do my best. You weren't ready. Got another level for you. How is it? Not great. I'm not at my best today. Yeah, you're amazing. Let's let them come to me. Oh, Ingrid, I really needed you to hit there. Forgive me. Ingrid, F. Felix, A. Pretty well. That's how it goes. You wouldn't expect a skinny kid like that to swing an axe around like it's a toy. But nope, there you're doing just fine. Yeah, there's fine.
Oh, by the way, you can grind these battles as many times as you like. I'm not even kidding. It's free experience. Uh, let's do an automatic instru- <sighs> Professor. Focus on sword and authority skills to excel as a lord. Uh, sure. You'll need a new blade, my boy. Uh, okay. Ingrid. Sure. <sighs> That's the third time this month. What seems to be the problem? Well, that's that. Father never relents. Oh, Professor! Hello! Did you need something? Were you just hiding something? Well, um, that is... I was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean, after all. You do well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind. Or some such. Getting rid of things you have no need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. Could you help tidy my room sometime? While I'd love to help, I don't want people getting the wrong idea with me being alone in your room. Despite my family's nobility, we have never been particularly wealthy. So my father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. Huh. Nothing wrong with that. He also encouraged me to keep my living spaces immaculate. So the two go hand in hand, I suppose. He sounds like a good father. Yes, he's a good person. Even when managing our territory used up most of our family's resources, he still went out of his way to ensure my comfort. What was it you just threw out anyway? Oh, uh, just a scrap of paper. It was already written on, so no good for note-taking. And obviously, I can't use it to clean my lance. So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Professor, did you come to check on me for any particular reason? I hope Sylvain and Felix aren't getting into trouble as they tend to do. No particular reason. I just wanted to talk with you. Oh. Well, if there's nothing important, I'll be on my way then. I still have some cleaning to take care of, after all. Talk to you later, Professor. Thanks. Hey, we did pretty well. All because I really went for it, of course. You're a glib one, aren't you, Sylvain? I did the bulk of the work here, you know. Perfect. Okay. I'm certain I've improved. You have. Well, that worked out. Am I starting to master this? Dead eye. I suppose that's a really good bow ability. It all makes sense now. Hit and run. Well done. You have my thanks. I have some errands to run. Like resupplying on people's weapons. Oh, there's more support conversations. Uh, Dadu and Felix. Hold a moment, dog. Are you speaking to me? I don't see anyone else here, do you? You're that boar's lapdog. Well, aren't you a prick? Do not mock his highness. <laughs> Spoken like a good pet. 
Dude, that guy's built like a brick wall. He could snap your neck with only his left hand. And from what I can tell, the guy's right-handed. Why do you follow him with such devotion? Do you really think a man like that is worth it? Fargus destroyed my homeland. Burned it all to the ground. Slaughtered my people. The punishment of Dusker. My father, my mother, my siblings. All were killed. We received no aid, no respite. Fargus murdered our dignity and torched our pride. His Highness is different. He is the only one who sees my people as human. He risked his life to save mine, and it is thanks to him that I no longer wish for death. That's what we call blind obedience. I really want to slap the shit out of this guy. Tell me, would you give your life for him? Yes. And what if he commanded you to join him in a senseless massacre? I would do it. Hmm. Even a massacre of children, or the elderly, or your own comrades. Where are you going with this? Without hesitation. You have misunderstood me. I am the sword and shield of his highness. Weapons do not have a will of their own. Well said. Blind obedience. I want to slap the shit out of this guy. You're right. I did misunderstand. I shouldn't have called you a lapdog. You're a rabbit cur. You and the Boar Prince make quite a team. Two crazed animals. Are you trying to get him to kill you? I warned you not to mock his highness. I am aware you have a history of friendship with him, but one more word. I've said my piece. Scamper back to your master. Who the fuck are you? What a prick! At this time of year, the fish are fat. Simply grilling them will bring out their best flavor. I agree. Steaming them with herbs is delicious too. I've never had that. Wow, you know a lot about this. I'm learning so much from you to do. Were you a cook at the castle in Ferdiad? No. Did your family own an eatery of some kind? No. My sister and I helped with cooking at home. Wow, that's all? I thought I was confident about my skills, but next to you, I feel like an amateur. Hey, could you give me some advice about other kinds of meat besides fish? Ash. Yes to do? Why do you spend time with me? We're friends, right? I just want to get to know you better. Is that so odd? I am from Dusker. So, look at me. I came from a life of poverty. I was lucky to even be let in here to study with all these high-class people. I think we have a lot in common. Being poor and being from Dusker are two different things. Oh, I, I know. But we can still be friends, can't we? You are a peculiar person. <laughs> so I'm told. Interesting. Ash and Annette. The best two okay, of the group. Now that you know the technique, go ahead and solve this problem. Ah, I've got it. Finally. <laughs> See? Isn't it fun to learn? Absolutely. You're great at this, you know. You really seem to have all the answers. I wish I could study and just soak up knowledge like you. How did you get so good at this? Well, studying was something of a necessity for me. What do you mean? My father was one of the king's knights. One day, he never returned home. He just left without ever saying a word to me or my mother. I'm so sorry to hear that. Losing a father so suddenly? I completely understand. Yeah, you really do, don't you? After he left, I thought a lot about where he might have gone. My father was a devout believer, so I was certain he must have come here, to Garag Mok. Here? Really? That's why I was determined to gain acceptance into the Academy. I needed to come here so I could search for my father. The problem was that I needed money to get in. Lots of it. 
and I didn't have any at all. So I entered the School of Sorcery and Ferdy at first, hoping I could somehow find a path here. I studied tirelessly until I finally earned myself a recommendation. Oh, wow. So for you, studying has been like a way to meet your destiny. Destiny, huh? Well, yes, but it's a bit embarrassing when you put it like that. Now I have other reasons for wanting to keep trying hard. I want to protect all of my friends and allies here. I'm studying hard so I can be as useful as possible to everyone I hold dear. You've worked so hard. I really respect that. I'm going to follow your example. Ingrid with Felix, Dimitri, and Sylvain. Okay, Dimitri, you're up first. Thank you for sparring with me, your highness. It seems despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. Oh, there's no need for such humility. Thanks to all of your hard work, you're improving rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, hey. I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? No, I hmm. cannot allow that. It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. So you recognized it? Yes, he shared much with me. I thought as much. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, uh, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, now, he never said any of that to me. Well, he was Felix's brother. That family's not big on displays of affection. No, that is true. We're not. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. And Felix is a prick. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Dusker. Since we lost Glenn along with so many others. So it has. Time moves quickly. Things have changed so much. Despite the sorrow, I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself, and like Glenn. I will do so for the sake of my homeland, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, and for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, Your Highness. It would be my pleasure. After all, I value our trading sessions as much as you do. Okay. Ingrid and Felix. Felix, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Time for our tactics lecture. You'll be there, won't you? Those things are such a waste of time. Nonsense. You're going to be there. Must I? Why is this such a chore? You went last time. Though you did all you could to disrupt things, as I recall. Brazenly rambling on about clear-cutting a nearby forest to secure a marching route. And attacking an enemy base, stealing their horses. You were incredibly disruptive, and even rude. I was offering my honest opinion. Then, you left before we were finished. What do you suppose happened after that? I have no idea. Well, the conversation got quite lively. We all began breaking down the viability of your somewhat maniacal plan. And apparently, similar tactics have been used to turn the tides of historic battles. That may be an exaggeration. Successful armies must be able to handle unexpected situations. That starts with weapon mastery and creative tactics. If you didn't have so much battlefield experience, you wouldn't be capable of such unique strategies. Which is why we need people like you. People who think creatively to lead the army. Now you're just massaging my ego. <sighs> when have you ever minded? <laughs> we need you there. Just come on. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 
description. I still don't like you, Felix. I think you're a prick. <sighs> that was quite a sigh. What's wrong, Ingrid? Tell me, Sylvain. What am I to you? You're my friend. One of my oldest, in fact. An old friend, is it? Then why must I clean up the casualties left behind by your... your skirt chasing? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do that. Heck, I thought you enjoyed it. Besides, you're real good at it. I'm excited to continue working with you. Do you mean to imply you have no intention of acting a bit more respectably? Please don't yell like that. Everybody's staring at us. When you were eight, you came on to my sweet, sweet granny! My granny! Come on! I was eight, and she was gore... That was a long time ago! Sylvain hit on Ingrid's grandmother? Wow. People can hear you! Please be quiet! When you were ten, we went to that harvest festival, and you started making eyes at a scarecrow! A scarecrow? Wait a second. That was just an accident. A tragic, tragic accident. When you were 15, you sought, relentlessly, might I add, to involve yourself with Lord Gwyndall's daughter. Who do you suppose made peace with the Furious Lord, despite having nothing to do with it? Hmm? Me. Always me, always for you. Every time. What a jerk. You know wow. This conversation is over. I'm done. My point is that this has to end. Not later, but now. Fine. I promise I'll try to change. Are you happy now? <laughs> you jealous, Ingrid? Me thinks you're jealous. Uh, ugh. Dimitri and Felix. Hello, Felix. I see you're here to train as well. Go away. Just looking at your face makes me want to wretch. Dude! <laughs> With that mouth of yours, you grow more like your brother every day. Shut up. And stop walking around on your hind legs. You're not fooling me. I cannot fathom why you seem to hate me so. Because I know what you really are. A beast craving blood. A beast craving blood, am I? I assume you're speaking of the events two years ago. Last time we met outside the Academy? I am. The way you suppressed that rebellion, it was ruthless slaughter, and you loved every second. I remember the way you killed your victims, how you watched them suffer, and your face, that expression, all the world's evil packed into it. That was our first battle. I remember it vividly. Oh, something wrong? Go ahead and deny it, you wild boar. I deny nothing, Felix. Well then. I suppose the Dimitri I once knew died during that slaughter in Dusker. Along with my brother. Perhaps you're right. <laughs> Hurry up and get out of my sight. I don't make a habit of talking to beasts. Okay, we get a little bit more on them. I swear to God, Felix, if you're mean to Annette, I'm going to throw you face first into a wall. Today's dinner is steak and then a cake that's yummy yum. Now it's time to fill my tummy tummy tum. <laughs> oh God. Oh, this mountain of sweets and treats that I long to eat. Oh, stacks of steaks and cakes and crumbs and yums. I hope I'm not interrupting. Felix, you weren't listening, were you? I heard enough to know that you're hungry. No, I mean, well, yes. At least tell me you didn't see the dance. <laughs> you have nice footwork. Get something to eat. I can take over watering the plants. What? And you're shouting. You can't just spy on people while they're singing without even saying anything! It's not right! 
I actually did call out that I was coming in. It's not my fault you didn't hear. Well, you need to speak louder then! Ugh, this is so embarrassing. And of course I was singing some silly food song I made up. I should have been singing about bears or swamp beasties. I didn't realize there were songs about bears and swamp beasties. <laughs> You're adorable in that. But food songs seem to be close to your heart. Your stomach isn't far from your heart, after all. <laughs> you are the worst! Okay, that... Huh. What was that about? I better water these plants. Wouldn't want them to get thirsty, or they might start singing too. Okay, that was actually a little funny. That was more of a playful tease than anything. Welcome! For the convoy. Will this one do? Stock up on steel swords. Many thanks. Lances. Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. I've got items. Right. Doesn't look like there's any required quests right now. Let's just burn up my time and I'll end the episode. Say, he is skilled, which is surely a boon for us. Still, okay. That was Do you know him? Well, how Scottier is so Uh No. Go to the dining hall and invite people to dinner, to a nice meal. Let's invite these two. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. That's the whole point, is to get them motivated. Ash and... Sure, steak. I love to cook. What are we making today? That's so. I have a lot of experience in the kitchen. I can make just about anything. Wow. And Professor level up to D plus. Let's go to the fishing pond and do a little fishing. Sure. I need to talk to the fish master to go fishing.
good enough. A loach. Interesting. Uh, I can just keep fishing as long as I like, it seems. Herring. I'll do one more, just for shits and giggles, why not? Another herring. Okay, I've still got more I can do. I can get more training from one of these fellows. You are quick to think that I cannot pass for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faculty training, swords. Finish exploring. Just in time for the mission. It's Tadu's birthday. Let's give him some flowers. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I kill some more disgusting bandits. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.